The beds consist of wooden planks, endless rows of bunk beds. There's a sudden loud bang. The entire upper bunk comes crashing down. I see mommy pinned under a huge pile of wood. I'm not permitted to visit mommy in the infirmary. I sneak to the infirmary and rap lightly on the wooden wall. Mommy is alive. Thank God. An SS guard grabs me by the shoulder. I'm ordered to kneel on the gravel for 24 hours without food or drink. From the spot where I kneel, the immense proportion of Auschwitz strikes me for the first time. A world of barracks and barbed wire. Suddenly, men, women, and children appear. Women with hair and colorful clothes. They walk like people, nervous and alert. They are not robots. They must have just arrived. How different they are. From where I kneel, I can see the smoke. I've seen it all morning. I've smelled it all night. Is it true, dear God? Is it true that the little children are trampled underfoot in the gas chamber? Is it true that the stronger adults struggle like wild animals? My dear God, have mercy. Chapter 24, is it true about the smoke?